The pain is unbearable. Michelle Johnson speaks about her 21-year-old sister, Makisha. She was just an innocent victim. Yes, she was an innocent victim. Who life was just, just taken, just taken away at the age of 21. Why did she go into the car? Do you know? We don't know. We don't know if she was at gunpoint. We don't know how they had her. All I know, is she was in a car. She was shot twice, and then she was just thrown out the vehicle. She was shot in the chest and in the arm, and thrown out the vehicle face down. Mikeisha Johnson, known affectionately as Tiny Boo by her family and friends, was a vibrant and spirited 21-year-old living in Hollywood, Florida. Her life was filled with dreams, laughter, and the simple joys that come with being a young adult. Mikeisha had a magnetic personality that brought light and joy to those around her, and she was often the life of the party. On a fateful Tuesday morning, March 5th, Mikeisha's life took a tragic turn as she prepared to celebrate a friend's birthday party. Little did she know that this night of joy would soon transform into a nightmare. Welcome to Explore Crimes. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. As the celebration unfolded, tensions escalated when accusations surfaced that Mikeisha had stolen belongings from some of the party attendees. The atmosphere shifted from joy to confrontation, and the situation quickly spiraled out of control. According to Mikesha's family, other men at the party threatened her life, demanding the return of the alleged stolen items. In a desperate attempt to defuse the escalating situation, Mikesha left the party accompanied by a man who had accused her. However, within moments, the night descended into chaos. Mikesha, a young woman with no connection to the alleged theft, found herself callously thrown from a moving car. The sound of gunshots echoed through the night, leaving her with fatal wounds to her face and arm. Bystanders, unaware of the events that had transpired at the party, rushed to Mikesha's aid as she lay on the roadside, struggling for breath. The witnesses, including Lequin Payne, who had been biking nearby, became unintentional heroes as they attempted to help a young woman in distress. A chilling revelation emerged as witnesses called for emergency assistance. Mikeisha had been shot. A crashing end to a bizarre crime. A car plows into a tree, then you see two people running from it. Police not saying how they may be involved. Investigators believe the pair traveled just a few blocks from Pembroke Road and US-1 on the hollywood Hallandale Beach border. It was here where witnesses say a woman was dumped out of the car and onto the street. Police are not confirming that the person found was a man or a woman. I seen her fall to the floor, like she tried to take a step and then she fell and just collapsed. I rolled my bike over to her and I stood over top of her and I was just asking her like miss are you all right are you all right hello are you good um I was just trying to see like if she was all right because she fell hard he tells us he began detouring cars because she was in the middle of the street soon after a car with more witnesses approached him another car pulled up with other people in it and they said somebody threw her out the car those witnesses called 911 an ambulance quickly arrived she was choking her own blood and then I heard one of the ambulance people say she shot. Laquan Payne said he and strangers tried to help. One caller telling 911 the person was thrown out of the car. They made a U turn and they threw her out the car. Like she flew out the car. Detectives are not confirming if the person was pushed out of the car or how they ended up on the street, just that they had multiple gunshot wounds. The swift response of paramedics and law enforcement could not undo the tragic fate that had befallen Mikesha. Despite their efforts, she succumbed to her injuries upon arrival at the hospital leaving her family and community in shock and grief. We're hearing from the family of a woman who was shot and left for dead in Hollywood. They're now demanding answers as the search continues for that gunman. Local 10's Rosh Lowe joins us live with more on this tragic murder. Rosh. Well, earlier this week, there was a lot of coverage of this case, and now we're learning a lot more about the victim, and the details are just heartbreaking. The pain is unbearable. Michelle Johnson speaks about her 21-year-old sister, Makisha. She was just an innocent victim. Yes, she was an innocent victim who life was just, just, taken, just taken away at the age of 21. She went to a party in Hollywood with her friend and there was an argument over stolen items. It's at that point, according to the family, that men at the party threatened to kill Makisha if they didn't get those items back. 
Makisha had nothing to do with the situation, says her sister. Why did she go into the car? Do you know? We don't know. We don't know if she was at gunpoint. We don't know how they had her. All I know is she was in a car. She was shot twice, and then she was just thrown out the vehicle. And then the vehicle crashes, right? Yes, the, the vehicle crashes into a tree. This tragedy ended in Hollandale Beach and the way she died. She was shot in the chest and in the arm and thrown out the vehicle face down. How horrible. It was tragic. Thrown on the side of the road. Tuesday morning, it was a mystery. Who was this person? What happened? Now the mystery unravels. A young woman threatened and killed over stolen items that she had nothing to do with, says family. I can't say no more, sorry. When y'all got the camera, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. This is just a horrible situation. As news of Mikeisha's untimely death spread, the community rallied around her family in solidarity. The Johnson family, devastated by the loss of their beloved daughter and sister, sought answers and justice. Mikeisha's sister, Michelle, passionately conveyed that Mikeisha had been an innocent victim caught in a web of events she had no part in. The subsequent investigation unveiled the disturbing sequence of events, a dispute over stolen items, threats against Mikeisha's life, and a tragic conclusion that saw her shot, thrown from a moving vehicle and the vehicle crashing into a tree. The community, deeply moved by the senseless loss of a promising young life, expressed their condolences and shared tributes on social media. The Johnson family, grappling with the pain of their sudden loss, established a GoFundMe campaign to support funeral expenses, receiving an outpouring of support from those touched by Mike's story. The search for justice intensified as authorities urged anyone with information to come forward, offering a reward for tips leading to an arrest. The story of Mikeisha Johnson became a poignant reminder of the need for communities to work together to, to ensure safety and seek justice for those whose lives are unjustly cut short. In the face of tragedy, Mikeisha's family clung to the hope that her perpetrators would be apprehended and brought to justice. As the investigation continued, the memory of Mikeisha Johnson lived on as a testament to the importance of unity, justice, and cherishing the moments of joy in the midst of life's uncertainties. As we reflect on the tragic story of Mikeisha Johnson, our hearts go out to her grieving family and friends. In the wake of this senseless act of violence, we extend our deepest condolences and wish them strength during this unimaginably difficult time. To the Johnson family, may cherished memories of Mikeisha bring you comfort and may the support of those around you provide solace. To Mikeisha's friends, may you find strength in each other as you navigate the pain of this loss. As we say farewell to Mikeisha, we hope she finds eternal peace, free from the sorrows of this world. May her memory be a lasting reminder of the need for compassion and unity in our communities. Rest in peace, Mikeisha Johnson, and may your loved ones find the resilience to cope with this profound loss. Thanks for watching. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video.